Welcome back. I'm Michael Canigan with your sports. 68 teams entered March Madness with the goal of being the last one to cut down the nets. For one team, that dream became a reality. UConn and Kentucky met in the title game last night in Dallas, and neither team made it to the tournament last year. The Huskies were led by a pair of veteran guards. UConn guard Ryan Boatwright finished with 14 points, but it was senior guard Shabazz Napier who stole the show, finishing with 22 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists. UConn handled the Wildcats, holding them to their fewest points in the paint of the tournament. The Huskies win 60-54 for their fourth national championship. And the Huskies might not be done winning championships just yet, as they'll look to win their second title in as many days. The UConn women's team will duke it out with Notre Dame tonight. It is the first time the undefeated teams in both the men's and women's side have met for the crown. Notre Dame has met has made the final four the past four seasons, even advancing to the finals in three of those years, but are looking to finally get over the hump this season. UConn is looking for their fifth undefeated season and for a shot at becoming a part of history. If the Huskies can pull it off, it'll be the first time UConn won both the men's and women's titles since they pulled that off back in 2004. Tip-off is set for 8.30 p.m. on ESPN. And keeping up with the Orange and Blue, the Florida football team is gearing up for the Orange and Blue debut this Saturday. The Gators have been hard at work installing new offensive coordinator Curve Roper's up-tempo offense. After last year's glorified practice due to the health of the offensive line, the Orange and Blue debut will once again return to its traditional format. You know, there are some missing parts at this time, and we also realize that, but we just we have too much of a, a drop-off uh, when, you, when you start talking from first group to second group. The Orange and Blue debut is set for Saturday at 1.30 p.m. in the Swamp. However, you won't have to wait till Saturday to get your Gator sports fix. Fort Lauderdale baseball is in action tonight against rival FSU. The Gators will look to bring out the brooms as they will go for the season sweep of the number one Seminoles in Tallahassee. UF will look to keep swinging the bats and, and after the offense performed well in Lexington over the weekend, hitting above 300 and clubbing three homers into this midweek matchup. Florida is 4-0 against top five opponents this spring. First pitch is set for 6.30 p.m. And baseball isn't the only sport renewing its rivalry with FSU. Gator softball will get their chance at redemption tomorrow. Last time these two squads met, it was the Knolls coming away with the 3-2 win in Gainesville. The Gators have some momentum heading into this matchup after completing a sweep against Auburn this weekend. Florida will look to even the ledger tomorrow in tally. First pitch is set for 6 p.m. And finishing up in the major leagues, there was plenty of matinee action. Runs not coming out of premium between the Yankees and the Orioles. Orioles 20 hits in their 14-5 win over New York. Let's take a look at some of the other MLB games still in progress. The Brewers and Phillies. Right now, Brewers up 5-1 in the third inning. And the D-backs leading the Giants 3-1. Well, Kyle, I just wanted to compliment you on your tie. Mickey Mouse, Kevin Ollie will be rocking a similar tie with UConn. You got that right. He's, he'll be celebrating at Disney has never lost in the NCAA tournament. You mentioned this was his first year coaching in the tournament, and the guy was a former NBA player, clearly a great coach too. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. More news after the break. Stay with us.